Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got some really interesting things to go over. A new rumor has popped up on 4chan for Generation 10. Don't know if it's a bit early, but either way, it looks very, very interesting. We also have some cool theories to take a look at for the DLC, some rumors about that. A lot of stuff to break down today, so if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell with all of that out of the way let's get into the video and i really hope that you enjoy so starting things off let's take a look at this new 4chan rumor for generation 10 again might be a little bit e like early I i'm not expecting generation 10 stuff until at least uh, a couple years from now because we've literally just had gen 9 but uh, either way it's an interesting 4chan post they obviously already know a lot of stuff about gen 10 because they work on generations prior like before it comes out like way 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 before but either way this was posted on saturday the 25th of march um saying gen x leak posted by anonymous and it says titles for the generation 10 games will be called pokemon crimson and pokemon cobalt release date november 2025 so i mean a release date of 2025 isn't like crazy but we also still need like generation 5 remakes if we get those um, we also are expecting like a new Legends game at some point. So it, it depends really. I mean, obviously we've just had a lot of Pokemon games in a short space of time. In the past couple of years, we had Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, Pokemon Legends Arceus, and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So that's three games um, in like not, not long at all. Like completely different to what we usually expect for Pokemon. So yeah, 2025 isn't absolutely crazy. And to be fair, with the new Nintendo Switch console most likely coming out before this date, this would be like a perfect time to make the generation 10 games because it'd be like a massive game for the new console and so it'd just sell even more but at the same time i don't know 2025 a little bit out there but yeah pokemon crimson and pokemon cobalt like decent names to be fair i could definitely see those being the names of the next games it says the region is based off madagascar which is not a place i would expect the next region to be based off i'd be expecting something like italy uh potentially a different state in new uh, in america or um I don't know, Egypt would be a really cool one, Australia, like there's loads of really cool places, like Madagascar is a cool place as well, don't get me wrong, it's just, I would expect like a big European country next or something, even though we just have had Spain and Portugal and like the UK and stuff, but I don't know, they seem to be diving a little bit more into Europe lately, because obviously we have France in, uh, France in Gen 6 as well. Um, I don't know, but either way, that's apparently what this rumor is saying. It says the mascot legendaries are a shark and a camel. So yeah, that's just completely like different kind of creatures there obviously a camel is a land animal and then a shark is an aquatic creature so completely different sides of the spectrum which is something you would expect i'm getting Groudon and kyogre vibes from that though but at the same time i completely understand that and it says starter evolutions are a grass poison toad a dragon that is fire dragon type and a very round turtle that is water rock type so this is a big light red flag for me because I don't think we'll ever have a starter Pokemon that is base typing of Fire Dragon. Now before you say anything, I know that Mega Charizard X is Fire Dragon, but the thing about being a Fire Dragon type is that the it just kind of disrupts the whole cycle with them all being good against each other. Like Fire Dragon would just be resistant to grass by a ton and then also it would be neutral to water so already the fire dragon type is the best one and that's just on types alone so i don't think dragon will ever be the typing that is given to any of them really uh, it just doesn't really seem like it'd be a possibility just because it like i said would disrupt kind of everything but uh yeah i mean pfft. Grass Poison, I mean, we obviously, that's fine. Like, we've had Bulbasaur in the past, etc. And then Water Rock, I mean, yeah, that would be a pretty cool typing. But, uh, yeah, Fire Dragon, uh, I'm not expecting that at all. And then it goes on to say, The evil team is an elite light group wearing grey suits with sun gases wanting to modernize the region from its rich uh, minerals and natural resources. So, finally, an evil team that's actually trying to take over the world or disrupt the world in some way, shape, or form. I mean, like, the last bunch of evil teams have just been... They've been very mediocre. They've, they've just not really given off the vibes of, like, Team Rocket or Team Magma, Team Aqua, uh, Team Plasma, Team Galactic, anything like that. So I would really, really like the next generation of Pokemon games to have, like, an actual evil team 
But I don't know, it just feels like they're going for a more friendly vibe with the evil teams. I don't know, for me it's just been a little bit disappointing lately, but either way, that's just apparently the way they're going with Generation 10. The gimmick is fusions. Now, I whether this is true or not, I do think the next gimmick is going to be fusions. We've had quite a lot of like fusion-like kind of hints and little bits and bobs about it throughout the previous Pokemon games. Obviously in Gen 5 we had a big fusion with Kyurem. Um, in Generation 8 we had the Calyrex fusions with uh, Glacier and Spectria. In Generation 9, we did have the kind of fusion images of Walking Wake and Iron Leaves with the Legendary Beasts and the uh, Swords of Justice. So again, we didn't have those in the game, but we had like the, the, the idea of them being fused together. And um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like that would be a massive gimmick. Now, I don't think every Pokemon will be able to fuse with everything. Like That would just be too crazy. But I think certain Pokemon will be able to fuse together. And I, I, I don't know, I would love a fusion gimmick in Pokemon. I think it would be really, really cool. I think it would be received really, really well. And they could make some really, really cool forms from it. But uh, yeah, I, I'm not expecting every single Pokemon to get a fusion. No way. It says some of the fusions in this game include Agron and Rhydon. Like that would be a really cool fusion. Uh, Talon, Flame and Kilowattrel. Gallade and Lucario would be a really cool fusion and more. And it says fusions work similar to Megas where the forms change remain permanent until they faint. The only thing about fusions is like how would it work in terms of... So let's say you, you were fusing Agron and Rhydon for example. Do you need both of them in your team and then you fuse them and then they stay like that and so you only have five party members until they defuse or something? I don't know, like, it obviously, they'd have, they have to obviously work around it and stuff and make it work, but I think fusions is the next step, personally. And it says, that is all I have for now. So, yeah, in my opinion, like, this, this is one of those rumors that, like, looks legit because with the big rumors that usually turn out to be true, they just kind of give off information like this and it's just, like, small bits of information and then that's it when they go way too much into detail about everything they usually are just fake because th there's just way too much information but yeah i mean i'm not expecting it to be true i just don't expect a fire dragon type uh, or just a dragon type for a starter again mega charizard and mega septile are the only exceptions but they're mega evolutions i'm talking base types here i don't think there will ever be a dragon starter pokemon but that's just my idea but yeah i think it's a really cool rumor though it, it, it it's everything that i want like a really cool evil team uh generation 10 coming out in 2025 fusions um really cool mascot legendaries regions cool like it's a really cool rumor i think it's a little bit more of a fan fiction but Either way, we'll have to wait and see. We'll definitely come back to it if anything like this gets announced. If anything about Pokemon Crimson and Cobalt gets announced, then we can jump straight back to this. But uh, either way, take it with a grain, a massive grain of salt. It was posted on 4chan. You guys know the drill with that. Moving on, we have um, some cool theories to take a look at for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet now. So we have Light here tweeting out saying, After watching the official trailer of Pokemon Horizons and doing the mention that the pendant of Lyco is the key, or Lico is the key, the chances that we will not encounter Terrapagos in a fight, as I mentioned before, increases. So yeah, if you didn't see the first trailer for the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet anime, basically they, they, they go into detail about how the pendant that the female protagonist has is the key, and it is like a really rare thing, and the evil team is trying to get it. And uh, I, I'm, I'm guessing that she doesn't know the, I guess, the how how important it is and she's just got it as like a family heirloom or something um but yeah obviously the evil team wants it and again it is the key probably to unlocking terrapagos like it's the exact same symbol from the the key as it is on uh, terrapagos's back and so they go on to say what if uh, terrapagos is the key to access the hidden treasure of area zero i feel like that's going to be the case and that's why the evil team wants it because they want to access the hidden treasure all the treasures should have a key to open it and maybe the center of terrapagos is the key to access i don't know maybe there's like a, a hidden room or something and and the the symbol of the key is this pendant and you have to put the pendant in and then it kind of opens it all up who knows uh and then they go on to say um also, the center of Terrapagos has the same form as the pendant of like, like obviously we know that. The story of Urashima Taro also fits perfectly. So we find Terrapagos injured, we help it with a sandwich or some way, shape or form. Terrapagos is the son of the Sea Emperor slash Dragon King Pokemon Terraton, which again could be a form, it could be an evolution. Again, I've just kind of been, I've, I've kind of been juggling with the idea that there is a legendary and then Terrapagos is just like a bunch of mini like legendaries a little bit like manaphy and fion where like manaphy is the main one and then this third legendary will be the main one and then fion is like the terrapagos so there's just like a load of mini ones 
And then they go on to say, Terra Bakers helps us to reach the hidden treasure of Area Zero, which could be the third legendary. And then what will be inside the treasure, a curse of time has happened in the story we will see. So yeah, there, there's obviously something that connects them. I mean, they, they, they it seems that the, the Pokemon anime, the main plot is going to be based around this pendant. I'm sure they'll do the gyms. I'm sure they'll do Team Star. I'm sure they'll do Titans. But I think the main kind of story plot is going to be the key of this pendant and then Terra Pagos and stuff. Which also makes me think that they're just going to do Gen 9 as like this. And then maybe Generation 10 we're going to have Ash back. Because I think throughout Generation 9 they'll finish this story. And then that'll be that. Like the pendant Terra Pagos thing. That'll just all be sorted. And then they'll jump back to Ash Ketchum maybe. So yeah, I think it'll just be like a one-off season. Not a one-off season, but like a one-off couple of seasons kind of thing. But uh, yeah, either way, that's going to be everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do consider hitting the like button down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It does really, really help out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on this rumor. I absolutely love the idea of it. I'm not sure if it's true or not. Obviously, take it with a massive grain of salt. 99% of the times they are false on 4chan. But it's got a lot of things that I would love to see in the games. But of course, we'll have to wait and see. Again, we wouldn't expect anything Gen 10 wise for a, a few years now. I'm not expecting 2025 release either. I'm expecting 2026 for Gen 10 on the next gen console, but we'll have to wait and see. And also, what are your thoughts uh, on, on this theory here? What what do you think the connection is between Terra Pagos and the Pendant and the anime and all that stuff? That's going to be everything from me, though. Like I say, if you enjoyed, subscribe, ring the notification bell. Something from me. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.